Building a long spinning rod handle using pre-shaped car can be a challenge. I'd like to show you how we do it. First, I select the perfect grips for my private stash. Next, I want to mix up a little five minute epoxy so I can glue that reel seat arbor into the inside of the reel seat. I spread that glue out. I put a little bit of the glue inside of the reel seat. I put that reel seat arbor on a screwdriver and roll it in that glue and cover it completely. Next, I want to slide it in there with the screwdriver, push it in there with the screwdriver. Then I want to stop and use the tip of the screwdriver to recess it in there about an eighth of an inch. That leaves a little room for some glue. Then I want to clean it up with denatured alcohol. I need a 10 inch rear grip for this ride, so I mark it with a pen on the cart. And one way to cut it off is just with a chop saw with a fine tooth blade. Now we want to take a steel rod and build up masking tape bushings on the rod so it will slide right inside that uh, pre-shaped grip. And we've got to knock off a little edge there where we cut it off with the chop saw. It's a little sharp. So we start off with a little 150. That will come off there in a hurry. Just knock that edge off with a little 150. And then we'll switch over to a little 220 just for a few seconds. I'm just holding that drill down on the table. You don't have to have a lay. Now I'm gonna hit it with a little 400 and clean it up really good and that's about all you need. Slide off those bushings and we, you can see we really gave that a nice finished look. You can see we've got about a 3 8 inch hole in our rear grip and our rod blank measures out a little less than 5 8 right there. Where, and so we have to really ream out a lot of cart. So we're going to take a reverse pilot drill. It's a 15 inch drill bit that we've modified and, and made a cutting edge on the back edge. And we build up uh, a little bit of masking tape on that butt because it's going to be really thin when we get through and we don't want it to split out. We build up some masking tape bushings on that drill bit and that works as a pilot as we pull that drill bit through the uh, cart. I like to use a 2500 RPM drill for this. Now we fire it up and we only pull it about halfway through because it'll chatter at the end as you pull it out. So we'll pull it halfway through and then we'll slip it off there and slip the drill in the other side and chuck that back up and pull it halfway through again. And uh, that, that hole will be dead center because that pilot will follow the center hole on the, on the grip. Now you can see that's really right on center. Next, we're gonna put a little taper to the inside of that uh, grip by using a reamer. And the problem with using a reamer, taking it all the way from 3 8 to 5 8 would be more than likely it wouldn't be on center. But by using the pilot drill, we kept it on center and all we're doing is fine tuning it with the power reamer. Getting a little taper in it. We slide that thing on the rod and luckily we hit it right the first time. You don't want to ream it too much, so check it a couple of times as you're working your way down that reamer. We have to measure the diameter of that blank right in front of that grip so we can figure out how much to ream out our reel seat arbor that's inside of our reel seat. And we're going to use a pilot drill. That little pilot will follow that center hole, that quarter inch center hole on that reel seat arbor. We drill that out and if you notice it comes out perfectly straight every time. Now we slide that reel seat on the blank to check and see how much we need to take out to make it fit our blank and we got to ream it out the same way we did our rear grip to fit the rod blank with a good tapered fit. Now we've got to ream out that foregrip. That foregrip already has a 7 16 hole and we only have to take it out to a little over a half inch so we can go straight to the reamer for that and it'll stay on center. Slide it on there and see how it's fitting. We need to take off a little bit more there. So we'll slide it back on the reamer and take out a little bit more. Slide it back on the rod we got a perfect fit. Now everything's on center. This long pre-shaped handle looks great. It's going to be a piece of cake gluing it up. 